Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're talking about a bunch of knives that I think are kind of flying under the radar. And this is the Civivi Cache, Cachet, Cachy, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it, but Cache, Cache. So, it is in 14C 28M blade steel, love the blade steel, and it is a steel frame lock, but it's got these overlays. Now, it does come in different versions, so this is just one version. They have micarta, I think, um, G10, maybe carbon fiber, I'm not positive, but they have a bunch of different versions of it, and it is a really good knife. As a functional tool, it's very ergonomic. It's going to be comfortable in the hand. The blade shape is going to work for most cutting tasks. The action is really good. It's fidgety, um, reversible deep carry clip. And because you know you got the overlay, right-handed or left-handed, it's going to be equally as good for thumb flicking and reverse flicking. So it's pretty awesome. And I think it's kind of flying under the radar because, you know, they kind of pump out a lot of knives. So this is just one that uh, people aren't really screaming about right now because they have so many different things coming out. And another one is the Synergy Drop Point, the Synergy 3 Drop Point. This one is, this could be one of the best work knives. It is a great, great knife. It is a hollow ground drop point blade, so a super, super versatile blade shape. Nitro V steel, very similar to 14C, great, great steels. The ergos are extremely, extremely comfortable. Now, the action, the flipper tab is discreet, but it is super snappy. Very, very dr drop shutty. The deep carry clip is not reversible, sorry, not reversible, but it is inset with flat screws, so it is only right-handed. Now, I think the reason why this one's flying under the radar a little bit is because the original one had a trailing point, and the trailing points aren't the most useful for EDC. They're great for self-defense, but in hunting and things like that, but not so much for basic EDC. However, throwing a drop point on this Yes, yes, yes. It, it is an amazing knife. Now, this one, like I said, this could be somebody's work knife and perform extremely, extremely well. That's where I would probably put it the most useful is going to be for work. Next is the Kubi Dandy. I think it's called a Dandy. Anyways, it's an S90 V Steel. And it is a titanium frame lock. But... Man, it is very, very well done. One, you have this nice deep fuller that is very easy to reverse flick. Even if you're left-handed and your fingers are on the lock bar, you can still flick it. So it is very easy to flick. Then you have a great flipper tab that's very snappy. Internal stop pins. So it's going to be have a nice strong, it's going to have a nice strong lock up. And the blade, it, you know, it's not the thinnest geometry, but, you know, the blade shape is where it's at. This thing is going to be super useful for a lot of things. It's a long knife. It is comfortable, even though it is a slim knife. It's contoured, super comfortable, even if you're cutting straps, if you're doing utility cuts, if you're slicing, doesn't matter. It's going to be super duper comfortable. Then you have this amazing lock bar access. Even if your fingers are, are wet or slippery, this is going to be a very comfortable knife to disengage. And man, is it very smooth. Now, the clip is, I don't know, I don't think it's reversible, but it is a ceramic ball clip. I'm normally not a huge fan of these, but this one's not bad because it's so long, it doesn't have a ton of tension out here. And the, the cutout for the lock bars on the inside, heavy, heavy milling. So, yeah, man, yeah, this one, they they uh, they did a lot of great things on this one. Now, the one complaint I have is I wish they did a better sharpening tool and plunge grind, but, hey, it is what it is. You could easily cut it in yourself because they put internal stop pins. So, very, very awesome. What's up, guys? Today we're going to talk about Exter, which is known for making the first ever trackable wallet. Now, they also have trackable keys and make it possible for you to track your phone as well. So if you lose your phone, you can double tap and your phone will be alerted. Now, if you lose your keys, you can do the same thing with your keys. And then if they are out of range and you can't hear your keys, well, you can use the GPS map and it'll show you exactly where they're at. Same thing with your wallet. If you lose your phone, double click, you can 
find your phone and vice versa with the wallet. If you lose your wallet, you can also track that with the app or alert it and you'll hear it. Now, they make all different kinds of options. And this one right here is the Senate, which is an aluminum body wrapped with leather. And it holds a bunch of cards and you can click the button easily and they come out layered. So it's very easy to get to. I can't tell you how much I've appreciated and loved having a card holder like this because before, you know, I, I had a band one, I've had a bunch of different kinds, but fumbling around trying to get the exact cards you want always sucks. But when you can just click the button, see exactly the one you want, pull that exact one out. It makes it super easy when you're in line at a gas station or wherever you're going to be using your card. Now, this is not a sponsor. However, it is an affiliate. So we do have a discount code for you guys. It is a Valentine's Day Valentine's Day sale up to 30% off. Now you have to use the discount code, which I'm gonna link down in the description. Like I said, they have a bunch of different options, including a carbon fiber version that has the same clicky thing right there where you can click your cards out. I only have the cards in this one right now, but it's pretty awesome. I know um, I've <laughs> been very well known for losing my phones, my wallets, just about everything. So this is awesome for somebody like me. These things are very easy to set up. It took us about three minutes to set it all up. And the cards that are in the wallet are actually solar powered. Two hours of solar charging lasts for about three months. And the ones on the keychain come with, come with a battery. So that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna link it all down in the description if it's something that would be awesome for you or you can at least check out what else they have. Maybe they might have something you like. I know they have a bunch of other little things too that we'll be showing here in the future. Next is the Giant Mouse Corta. So this is an M390 steel. I think Giant Mouse has some of the best micarta. They have incredible micarta. This is the, the natural or the brown micarta. You can see it's barely even taken any oils. It's one that uh, does take time to, to patina or to take the oils. You know, it absorbs very slowly, but it will absorb over a long period of time. I cannot fail this knife. I absolutely cannot fail it. I can literally try as hard as I can and it will not fail. Not unless if I cheat. That's the only way I possible. If I just, I'm just trying to break the detent, just break it. <laughs> the detent is so stout in a good way and so snappy. It's one of the snappiest knives of, you know, from Giant Mouse. Now it has a crowned spine with the jimping placed halfway up the spine. Now the jimping is not the most, doesn't give you the most traction, but it's a small compact knife. So it's going to be great for EDC. You've got a comfortable grip. It is a full grip, but it's a small knife. So it's not going to, you know, be very palm filling, but that's what's kind of good about it because it is palm filling for the little handle it has. So it's not a big palm filling hand, full of knife but you know it's a nice small palm filling handful of knife if that makes sense good access to the lock bar very smooth on the the bearings and it does have a reversible deep carry wire clip that works great brass back spacer it doesn't add too much weight but it's an m390 steel now i know a lot of people are worried about giant mouse's m390 well one this is done by riat so it's going to be Riat's M390, which they do a good job with it. Now, they have recognized, I did talk to Giant Mouse, and they know that people are worried about heat treats and stuff with their steel. So they are working on that. That is something that they are going to be working on this year. So we will see how that works out. Um, I will try to keep in contact and, you know, we'll see. But beautiful satin finish. And I don't know why this one's flying under the radar. I don't know if it's because of, you know, people being worried about Giant Mouse's M390 or because it's Riat's M390 in reality. This one's not made in Italy. This one's made by Riat. So, but maybe people don't know that. I, I'm not sure, but it is an awesome, awesome, very, very well done Giant Mouse. Next is the Nitro. Now, I got to say, I personally love the look of this, and I think it's flying under the radar because of the price. It is a little bit pricier. You got um, custom knife maker, Carry that uh, has this in a custom version, and now this is just a production version that he, you know, licensed to Wii, 
and it's a really good knife it's very good but you know because it does have the usa designer and stuff the price is up there a little bit higher the it is a bolster lock in 20 cv blade steel titanium bolster lock with some of the best micarta i've seen coming out of the wii factory very very good quality micarta i love it the clip works great backspacer is attractive the action it's good um it's a the detent's a little bit on the lighter side but you have the thumb flick so the thumb flick is great but the flipper tab it's a little bit on the lighter side i can fail it if i want to but i can also reliably flip it if i want to so you know it's all right i could tune it stronger if i need to the handle is pretty comfortable the blade shape is very very versatile it's going to work good for most edc tasks and it's not a big knife but like i said i think this one people aren't really trying it and aren't giving it a chance because of the price but i will say it is very very well done i'm happy i got it now wait one other thing one other thing really quick another reason why it's probably flying under the radar is because we needs to up their HRC on their 20 CV. They're running it a little bit on a little bit on the softer side. They do a good job with it. I just think that it's a little bit on the softer side. So hopefully they'll they'll take care of that this year. Next is an older one, but it's always flown under the radar. This is one of the best knives you can get for under a hundred dollars. Yes, under $100. Titanium bolster lock, real carbon fiber, titanium milled pocket clip and backspacer, and 14C28N clip point blade, which this is kind of like we were talking about earlier with this knife, a very, very useful clip point. It's not one of the trailing clip points that, that are not good for EDC. This one is great, great utility cuts, great slicing. The ergos are stupid stupid comfortable the action is ridiculous great access to lock bar very very comfortable very smooth on the drop the whole access you have great access to the hole whether it's for the thumb flick or the reverse flick then this top flipper is exactly how you want to see the top flipper it kind of reminds me of how Olamp the olamic whippersnappers front flipper is it just works so good so easy I don't see how anybody can can fail this one, and you can also slow roll it because the the front flipper doesn't hide inside the handle, so you can easily slow roll it all the way around and then lock it in place. So, yeah, it's such a good one. And you know, with Two Sons steels and stuff, they don't do the best job with their super steels, but 14C28N is a steel that's easy to heat treat, so they do a good job with it. Um, it's one of the steels that they do actually do a good job with. So for under a hundred dollars, it's unquestionable. This is an amazing, amazing value. Um, internal stop pins strong lockup. I've had this thing for a long time and it has just gotten better and better and better and better. It's so good. Steel lock bar insert. Um, we do have a detent ramp, I believe. Yeah. They, most two sons have a detent ramp. Ceramic cage bearings on a racetrack. So all the bells and whistles that you would expect from a Riet like knife. Now one more really quickly, the new NVV4. Now the original NV, you know, that it was very popular. I don't know why this one's flying under the radar a little bit more. At least it feels like it. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just my perception. But I do notice that the, the one thing is that the, the other one, the last version, the last titanium version, did have a little bit more work done to the scales, like just chamferings and little tiny grind lines and things like that. And it looked really, really good. They didn't do that with this one, but they did do the inlays with this one. So, you know, they're just a little bit different, but it does feel like a complete different knife because of the sheep's foot blade and the, the you know, the, them taking away some of the, the little details. Very, very good action. Oh yeah, and also adding thumb studs instead of a flipper tab. Great knife, though. I really do like this one. It's in S90V steel, and as far as Tuya's S90V, you know, I can't speak to how well it's done, but I will say, when they were doing other knives in M390 a couple years ago, 
Um, we found out that, you know, some of the M390 wasn't doing as well as advertised and they immediately fixed it. So that was something that we were really happy to see come from a company, you know, to take accountability and do what it takes to, to fix the issue and, you know, be very transparent. So, you know, I, you know, I'm not sure about their S90V, but you know, I'm sure it's probably pretty decent. Yeah, super comfortable in the hand. It's going to be very useful. Now, my one biggest complaint is the sharp control and plunge grind, but, you know, you can always cut your own in because the, the stop pin is not in the way. But, yeah, I just, this one's kind of flying under the radar from, from Tuya. It's one of their newer models, and I'm just not seeing a lot of people uh, screaming to pick it up. Maybe it's just that time of the year because I know that happens. There's a lot of stuff dropping right now, so a lot of things are not... Uh, going to be as popular as they would if maybe you know a lot of things weren't dropping and they were you know kind of by themselves but yeah this one's really good also a really cool thing about this is you can easily easily reverse flick it off the bottom of the blade i mean so so easy i cannot express that you just got to keep your finger off the lock bar i mean i don't even have to try like i don't have to put pressure or anything i just got to put my finger there and flick up like that and it's going to flip yeah I, I like it quite a bit. But anyways, there you guys go. Just a bunch of knives that are flying under the radar, in my opinion, that I just don't think are getting as much love as they probably as they possibly deserve. But there you guys go. Love you guys. Peace.